This video tutorial is designed to show how students can access our collection of ebooks through Mac and Via. The first place where students will need to go to access ebooks is ClassLink. Once on ClassLink, students will look for the Mac and Via ebooks and databases app. Mac and Via ebooks and databases has a rainbow pinwheel. After selecting the Mac and Via app, students will be entered into Mac and Via. They will see the name of their school and also their name. The first page is our home page with newest titles and featured groups. Below the home is in several different tabs. All resources is a searchable place where students can search for ebooks, audiobooks, and databases by topic. Below all resources is a groups tab. The groups tab are curated sets of titles. Some teachers have requested separate groups and some are based on topics such as the science fair or ebooks in Espanol. Our collection of Black Eyed Susan books are there as well. Below the groups tab is a categories tab. The categories tab is where stu students can search for ebooks by genre so if students are interested in graphic novels, they can choose the graphic novel tab and all of the different books that are available that are tagged graphic novels are there. Below the categories tab is the general ebooks tab. And this is where students can go to search through our entire collection of ebooks. Students can search by topic, by author's name or by subject. As books appear, students will notice several icons. If there is a red icon, it means that book has already been checked out by another student. Some of our books are single user copies. So the same way a student might borrow a book off of the shelf, there is one copy here that has already been borrowed by another student. Students may request a book and that request will be filled when the book is returned by the student who previously is borrowing it. Students can cancel their request at any time. Students do have the ability to preview books to favorite books and also find out more information about a book. So if perhaps the book that they wanted isn't available, they can choose that little information icon and scroll down to look for similar subject books and perhaps they can find something else that they would like to read. If a book has a gray icon with a picture of a book, students will have one of two options. One, they can open the book now and read it right away. They can also check out the book and that book will end up in their digital backpack and it will be borrowed for two weeks. Books will automatically return after two weeks unless the student chooses to return the book early. Within their backpack, they can see any books that they put on request, books that they've favorited, books that they currently have checked out and any books that they have made notes in. So we've got our book, which can be opened and read right away. Some of our ebooks are just plain text on the page and the students are able to read. Some of our ebooks are interactive and have music and narration. If a book has a gray icon but does not have the option to check out, this book is a multi-user subscription. What that means is that as many students as would like may read the book at one time. So there's no reason to ever check out one of these type of books because that book will always be available. If students want to find that book again, they can just favorite it and then it will be easy for them to find if they're returning just by clicking their favorites. As students are searching for books, they can search and filter by several different topics. They can search by genre. They can limit by interest level. Our books range from pre-K to professional. So if they just want ones that are perhaps from grade five to grade eight, that will limit the titles that they see. Students can also limit by reading grade level, lexile level, and language. So if they were looking for a book in Spanish, on a fourth to eighth grade reading level, these are the different books that we would have. And as you can see, some are checked out, some are available to read right away or become checked out. 
While at Macandia, students also have the ability to visit our databases tab. Databases is where students can go for informational reading topics. We have over 50 different databases at the middle school level. And if students log on to Macandia, they will never need a database specific password. They simply need to click open now and that database will open immediately where students can begin searching for any topic that their teacher might have assigned them. If you need recommendations for the best database to use, you can check with your teacher or check with the librarian. Underneath of databases is an audiobooks tab. Audiobooks are books that are read aloud with no text. We have over 280 different audiobooks and also there is links. Several pages have been linked. Right now we're featuring science fair project ideas, resources for National Hispanic Heritage Month, and then some different fun resources, puzzles, computer coding, and Unite for Literacy, which is a platform that will narrate simple eBooks in multiple languages. Our links, as well as our groups tab, change frequently. So students should always check them out to see what is new. So that is a brief overview of how students can access any of our eBooks and databases through Mac and Via.